hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we look at 16 different networking commands that we can use on a windows pc or windows machine these commands can be used to troubleshoot network issues or we can use them to show information related to our network now i'm going to open the command prompt here and i'm going to open it as administrator because some of the commands require admin privileges so i'm gonna run right click and run as run as administrator here click on yes and here i'm just gonna do cd now the first command is for displaying ip configuration information and the command is uh, ip config and this should display your interfaces and the ip addresses if you need more details you can do the same command and do uh, for slash all here and this should give you IP addresses and uh, default gateway and the MAC address as well so as you can see here we have default gateway DNS and also the MAC address the second command is the ping command this is just to check reachability of uh, an IP or a website let's go ahead and uh, clear this and so to use it you just type ping and then the ip address of the website let's go to let's ping google.com and see if it's reachable and as we can see here we sent four and we received four so there's no loss so it's reachable and then it tells you how much time it took to send those packets so the next command is going to be the trace route command for tracing the route the packets take to reach a destination uh, the command is trace uh, t and you put the ip address here so say google.com so you can either put the ip or the, the site and now it's just going to tell you the the number of hops it takes to get to this google.com so so this is my uh default gateway i have two default gateways and then it's going to uh, service providers then it's just going to go through all the hopes until it gets to it so let me just end this because it might take a minute here the next command is ns lookup and this one is just to query dns servers just to confirm that your dns is working correctly we can use ns lookup and then we provide a site here say google.com and all it's going to do here is going to translate this google.com to an ip so this is google.com this is my server dns server and it translated google.com to this ip right here moving on uh, we'll look at the next command which is the netstat which displays active network connections and also listening ports and network statistics on your network so to use it just type netstat and this one is just going to display active connections the local ip and if it's a foreign ip it's going to display so this is my ip so this is my ip right here and the port that we are coming from the destination and the port this is https and it's done the next command is the app command which displays the app table which results between uh, MAC addresses and IP addresses. So, this and we'll run the command. It's app a. All it does, it's just gonna show the IP addresses and the related MAC addresses. IP address and the physical physical address, which is the MAC address. The next command is the route command, which shows us the routing table, and the command is route print. print. And what the command does, it's just going to show us the different networks and how we can, how we get to them. For instance, it's telling us how to get to this network. We use this on link as the gateway, and this is the interface. And to get to this network, which is all networks, because it's all zero zeros, uh, we use the default gateway here, and this is the interface. Okay, we'll look at the next command, which is for displaying NetBIOS statistics. So let me clear this. And the command is nbt start dash n. And this is just going to display NetBIOS. If you need to 
look at the net bios over tcp information you can use that command it shows you the name the work group and whether it's registered and stuff like that the next command we look at is the net sh command now the net sh command uh, allows us to do uh, multiple things we can display information we can modify information that's related to network configuration so we'll just see two examples here the first one is to show the interfaces we can do net sh interface show interface and this one just shows us the admin state of the interface the state the type and the interface name so here you can see i have two three that i enabled and they are there's one is ethernet and then there is a vmo adapter the next command that uses uh, net sh also is for showing wireless uh, profiles and it's the net sh w wlan show profiles on this system i don't have any wireless interfaces but if i did you'll see all the profiles listed using this command okay the next command is similar to ping command but it can be used to show if there's any issues on the network like if the network is slow you can use this command it's part ping and you can just say you're trying to see how fast you're getting to like a site so it's gonna go through the different hopes and then it's gonna give you at the end statistics of the amount of time it's, it's taking so let's wait for it and see if it's gonna finish so as you can see it's computing the statistics and this could take a while so i'm just gonna end this one with Control c we'll look at the next command and it's for displaying the hostname for your computer you can just use this command hostname and that should show you the hostname you're using for that computer the next command on our list is the net command so we have net start and net stop which we can use for starting and stop stopping services now let me show the help here net help services this should list um, the different services we can stop or start using that command so for instance we can start a browser DHCP client, this puller, so we can start it and we can stop it. Let's look at a command that starts and stops the service and we'll start and stop this puller here. I'll, I'll type net start. Uh, actually, let me stop it and then start it. Stop puller and net start spooler. spooler. So as you can see, it says that the print spooler services were stopped. The print spooler services were started. Okay, so those are the different commands we can use. Uh, the bonus command is the uh, system info. With the system info command, we can display details of uh, you can display detailed configuration information about a computer, which includes the operating system and network settings. And the command is simply system info. So that's it for this video. Those are the different networking commands we can use on our Windows PC. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.